Hey everyone, Josh here. So like any good Volkswagen Touareg, we've got some intermittent electrical issues. So I got an ABS or ESP code that comes up intermittently. So we're gonna try and diagnose what the issue is. So the issue we have is that light, the one of the car doing a burnout, the one up here. So that's the, one of the ABS lights or ESP. So on good old VCDS, we're gonna go select control module. We're gonna go to ABS and brakes. Let it think for a second. And then we're gonna go to fault codes. So the one we're worried about here is 00493 ESP sensor unit G419 defective. So if you look that up on VCDS, there's multiple faults under the 00493. Um, the one when it says defective, it says replace the sensor. That's only repair. Um, the steering angle sensor intermittent, I think that reports information to that esp unit so i'm not going to worry about that one right now because that's a new steering angle sensor from when i did the heated steering wheel swap um, so if i go to measuring blocks go um go steering angle sensor if i grab the wheel here it's moving so I don't know if I've got it. I don't think I have an issue with that sensor. So I think we got to get this ESP, the G419 sensor out of here and swap with a hopefully good unit. So that sensor looks like this. ESP Mafrakan sensor. So that's our part number. I got this from a different Toreg, but at the same scrapyard that I got my heated steering wheel from. So I don't know if this works or not, but... Hopefully it does. So we're going to do some swap gnostics here. So you think small sensor, it's going to be easy to get to. That is not the case. It's buried in the center console. So we got to gut that out and try and get at this. And I think there's an airbag module just above it as well. So at scrapyard, you can get a little aggressive with it, but with your own one, you don't want to break any plastics. So it's going to be a bit of a pain. I just love interior work on these old Toregs. Um, so we need to get the ashtray out of here, which mine's already broken so i never reinstalled it last time i was in here for something i don't remember what but i've got a new one here same thing from the wreckers um gotta get the shifter out of here so there's a little trick for that get your center console tray out there's gonna be some hidden bolts in here and then this plastic should gently pop out of here but clips always break so it's gonna be interesting so first we're gonna get the shifter out of the way so i've already done a video on this when i did the uh Tiptronic diagnostics on that silver Toreg. Um, but if you haven't watched that before, you just take your little screwdriver and pop this guy out gently. You don't want to break the uh, V10. So once that cover's off, we're going to pop this out as far as it'll go. Then what I like to do is wrap a little bit of tape around it and then just clamp some vice grips on it gently to hold it out. And then that little clip down here, and it should just slide up and off. Okay, so I didn't even need the, the vice grips, just a nice wrap of decent tape. We'll hold that out, and then you pull that pin. So the reason you need to get this slid out is to get it out of this column right here. So, and then that pin has to come all the way out, and then that's out of here. So now we got room for this to come up. So now we got to get this back tray out of here, and I've got... Some accessory cables, so it makes this a little more interesting, but I'll get this popped out as well. Okay, I remember now, I was in here for parking brake cables, so sadly, those broke off when I was in here last time, but you have two bolts there yet, and now gently you gotta go across the edges and pop this whole assembly up. Um, the wood grain is attached to the black plastic, so you wanna try and get the black plastic, the whole frame popped up all together to that way you don't have to worry about breaking this stuff okay so we got it popped up some stuff kind of stayed some kind of came uh so it's really easy to get this front corner started but then right about here it gets really flimsy so you can go in back here with your hand and get underneath the cup holders and kind of help pop this area up so now I'm just going to kind of get this up and figure out what I need to do for wiring, what can stay, what can go, and uh, get this flopped out of the way. So nice and easy, we've got that flopped over there. So now you kind of see what you're up against. 
So we've got our airbag sensor. And back here, we've got our mock and frocken sensor. You can take your whole center console out of here. It'll make life a lot easier to get down to the plug, which is here, and the bolt, which is farther back. The issue is I've been in here before and the four zone climate isn't fun to play with. So I'm gonna try and do it, keeping it the way it is and trying a couple different assortment sizes of like shallow, maybe swivel and deep sockets to get this out. So the plan is we're going to disconnect the battery, get this airbag controller unbolted and slid ahead. We're going to get this unbolted and then snip the carpet right there. And then that should be able to get our sensor out of here. Okay, so the airbag thing sits up here nicely. So you got a nice clear shot of what you're doing here. So we're going to snip it right here. Oops. So the carpet splits. So I believe this is the front half. This is the rear half. So this is a bit of a hack way. I think the dealership tech and me is starting to kind of shine through, but to get this with enough slack to get that controller out, you either have to pull the front and rear seats and then pull the carpet up or get that aluminum bracket out of the way and slide everything back. So if this was a 2024 Touareg, I'd probably be considering that. But since this thing is almost 20 years old, my feelings are hurt a little bit, but I'm just going to go like that. So now as far as getting the back hidden bolt out of there, I've got three socket sizes to choose from, shallow, deep, or a swivel socket. Uh, swivel socket, at least the snap-on one, is too thick. It's going to hit the controller like that. This chrome Stanley deep one, I think, is going to be perfect. I get in there with my ratchet it's going to be a bit of a tight area but it's going to save taking the whole console apart and then yeah just this normal connector and then that front one so it's a lot of work for a little controller with only four wires going to it okay so it's not that bad so i just thought i'd include this here now too um these connectors you push on the back so it's the same as most of these volkswagen connectors you push there that makes the spring locking tab tilt up and then you can get it off uh, for some reason this was stuck on there fairly tight so what i'll do sometimes is if you put a pick in the back side and then pry get it focused there if you pry backwards gently that'll pop that locking tab up and then with your other hand you can just gently twist the connector out so it's all undone there now. So you can double check, it's the same part number. Looks like it. So this was out of a V6 or V8 gas, and then this is obviously V10, so hopefully this scrapyard one works. So I'm gonna pop this in, get this airbag set back down where it's supposed to be, hook up power again, but I'm gonna leave the center console apart. And we're gonna go out and test drive it with VCDS and make sure all of the, the clock spring and all that adaptation actually goes through because that's the risk of buying scrapyard parts. You never know what you're going to get. So I'd rather not have to break all this plastic again. So I've gone for a nice little drive. The burnout signal hasn't came up since. Um, I've got my laptop charger in here. It fits in there nicely. Um, but we go to the ABS and go to fault codes. So it's got an issue steering signal angle sensor intermittent. Um, so when I did the heated steering wheel retrofit, shortly after I got a code for my airbag with the airbag light coming on and I've got that intermittent code popping up now. So I think I've got a, bla a bad clock spring. So if I go here, steering wheel angle sensor, seems to be reading okay okay we're back home here now let's see what it's gonna say nothing so i'm not sure how intermittent intermittent is but it seems to be working okay um but yeah so i've got the, the next code i want to tackle is my airbag one so i'm fairly confident that it's the clock spring uh i don't know for sure i've also got this silver v10 here for some engine work and it's also got a steering angle sensor code but it only reads zero degrees all the time so i'm pretty sure 
that one needs a clock spring as well and of course that one came factory with a heated steering wheel mine i've added after the fact so now i'm trying to find two used clock springs for these things but anyways that controller fault didn't come back up so all of this junk can go back together and i can get my ashtray put back in and be set so anyways thanks for watching and uh, hopefully this helps if you run into that code